Hey y'all, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing my Sephora Play Box. I am forced to film in daylight. I have to take advantage of when Savannah's taking a nap. Okay, so this month's Sephora Play Box. So you open it and of course the bag is always different each month. This one says lipstick and chill. It's really super cute. This is a little pamphlet that comes in the Sephora Play. This card right here, you take it to your standalone Sephora. You get 50 extra Beauty Insider points with any purchase. So you look in here, it has all the information of everything that's in the uh, box for the month and information on it. But let's see what this month's theme is called the Cool Cut. So it is the next big things. These are the ones to watch. Uncover breakthrough formulas, indie finds, and products that truly stand out from the crowd. Before they hit the mainstream, try out routine changing skincare and hair innovations, a coveted liquid lipstick, and other of the moment must-haves. Here's a cute little bag again. And it's so cute. So the first thing is from Smashbox and it looks like it is a liquid lipstick. So this is the Smashbox Always On Matte Liquid Lipstick in Driver's Seat. The water resistant up to eight hours with a non-feathering formula. This budge proof liquid lipstick is formulated with a complex of jojoba or jojoba, apricot and sunflower seed oils for decadent color and a non-drying finish. So that's what it looks like right there. It's really pretty. It's like a pinky peach nude shade. Kind of reminds me of the lip color that I'm wearing, which is Kat Von D's Lolita. And it's the studded kiss lipstick, not the liquid lipstick. Okay, this is from Skin Ink, and it's the Pure Revival Peel. And this is the size of it right here. It's a revolutionary, non-abrasive peel that gently removes dullness and dead skin cells. Right. It says, one of the active ingredients in Pure Revival Peel is ac dash 11, which is derived from Cat's Claw, a tropical vine that grows in the Amazon. When applied to the skin, AC11 is known to gently exfoliate and care environmental and sun damage. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Oh, this sucks not having my ring light. Oh, la la la. I'm so sorry, guys. This is from Verb. It's a leave-in mist formulated to moisturize, detangle, and smooth. This conditioning mist also helps to protect hair from heat styling, which is good. I like products like this that are all-in-one that you can leave in. It's going to help repair the damage in your hair and also a heat protectant, stuff like that. I've never really tried anything from Verb either. Like, a lot of this stuff is kind of new to me. I mean, I know the brand, or I've heard of the brands. I've just never tried product. This is from uh, ma, ma, ma. Too Cool for School and it's the Egg Mellow Cream. This 5-in-1 multitasking cream made with egg extracts and collagen fiber works as a serum, priming moisturizer, eye cream, neck cream, and sleeping mask. So that's what it looks like right there. It's just this cute little thing. The benefits of fresh egg are known to tighten the appearance of pores, keep skin looking healthy and firm, encourage the production of collagen, which is always good. We're always trying to be anti-aging, prevent fine lines, and wrinkles and whatnot. Trying to stay young looking. I've had one of these but not this kind. This is from Nude Sticks and it's the Intense Matte Lip Cheek Pencil in Bell. It has a little swatch on the end and it's just another brown rosy color. This color rich non-drying multi-use pencil works as a lipstick, lip liner, and cheek blush and wears for up to six hours. I had one of these that I got in my Ipsy bag but it wasn't matte. I sold it on my auctions or I don't know I might still have it. I don't know but I didn't care for it, so this is probably gonna go to my auctions as well, maybe, I don't know yet. I feel like I have a lot of rosy, nudie type shades, like lip shades. I don't really like to use stuff like this on the cheeks. I'd rather use it as a lippy because I'm obsessed with lippies. So the last thing, I always leave the fragrance for the last, and it is from Tom Ford and it's Orchid Soleil Eau de Parfum. It's a summary take on the beloved Tom Ford Black Orchid scent. I've heard that some people like it. I remember when I got it in my Sephora Play, it smelled very very like a sophisticated old lady like those fancy old ladies that's what it smelled like it just wasn't my type of perfume or scent or smell in general okay so this says this warm fragrance is brightened with hints of spice and exotic florals the fragrance family is warm and spicy the top notes include tuberose petals or tuberose petals I don't know if I'm saying that right cypress pink peppercorn and the middle notes are black orchid lily accords and clove bud and the base notes are vanilla, chestnut, cream accord, vetiver, and patchouli. So let's just give this little thing a little spray. I was getting over all the Sephora Play fragrances that they were sending lately because it was just from one brand. I can't remember what it's called. I'm kind of scared because I hated the 
black orchid. Mmm, I could smell it from here. Ugh. Mm. I don't know how anyone can like these. I don't know, everyone has like a different nose and they prefer different smells. It smells very floral, but it has like this weird, I hate to say like body odor undertone. It smells like if someone was stinky and they were trying to spray themselves with the floral perfume or something, but you still could smell like that nasty, stinky undertone of their body odor. Okay, I'm gonna stop smelling that. So this is not a hit for me. So I officially know that I do not like Tom Ford perfumes. I mean, it's not a bad thing. Like I said, everyone has a different nose. It's just a scent that I particularly do not prefer. So anyways, um, Sephora Play is a $10 a month subscription service. I'll leave a link down below if you want to sign up. I'll go ahead and cost everything out and leave the total somewhere on here on the screen so you know that this bag does pay for itself. I really like it. A lot of people have canceled it and canceled Ipsy, but I haven't really found a reason to cancel them. There's been some hit and misses with the boxes, but it's not anything like, oh, I'm getting tired of them. They're not stepping up their game with the samples and I'm still thoroughly enjoying them and and I'm surprised every single month when there's products that I'm like, ooh, I want to try that. Ooh, yes, I've always wanted that. I just get so excited because I get products that I'm always on the fence about, so I get to try it. I hate having to buy something and then return it. I'd rather take a sample or try something. Sometimes there are things you can't get samples of, like the Kat Von D um, tattoo liner, so I got that in my last for a play unboxing. I'm gonna quit babbling and whatnot, so give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on all my social medias listed down below. Have a blessed day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. This is gonna be my birthday haul and I'm super excited to show you guys what I got. And this is limited edition, but it's from Chi and it's the Chi Ultra. This is the sweet champagne version.